Hey, hi friend. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. I'm Amira. If it's your first time here, thanks for clicking on this video. This message is for Aquarius for 5-3. Guys, please keep in mind, understand that everyone's trajectory is different. Timing is fluid. Um, messages are general. Humans will ultimately be humans, okay? So just keep that in mind as we go through the energy and flow through the cards. I, this may come across as your reading, maybe not your reading. It's going to vary, okay? You can book a personal session with me on my website. I would love to hear from you and work with you. I would be honored, okay? Your day begins with the Eight of Swords trapped in fear. I'm tasting strawberries. Maybe somebody's eating strawberries. I feel like somebody's allergic to strawberry, but anyway, um... The Eight of Swords is how your day begins. So somebody who is struggling to choose a path, somebody who doesn't understand the power that they have. Um, maybe they feel it powerless or overpowered by another person, by a belief, by um, an organization, a family, whatever it is, overpowered by their own thoughts. Somebody here is struggling to break free when in fact, all they have to do is tell themselves I'm free um, and choose the path that they want to choose. Midday, the four of wands. Um, I heard a growth spurt, okay? And the day ends with the six of cups, memories of love, some kind of attachment to the past. Overall energy is the five of cups, okay. Let's see what's going on here, Aqua. Let's get a swords, please. Somebody is stuck in the past here. Okay, I heard, I feel like somebody's stuck in the past and so it's keeping them from committing to their future. Yeah, the death card. Okay, death to temperance. This is the in-between tarot. Somebody is stuck in that in-between space. It's time to mature, like I said, a growth spurt. All right? It's time to mature. It's time to evolve. It's time to leave the past in the past. It's time to no longer allow a, an old mindset, old old beliefs, old um, people even, hold you in a place that you no longer belong. All right. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's a blessing here. <laughs> there's an opportunity here for someone to be blessed, for someone to feel emotionally balanced again, for someone to reconnect with um, a person, place, thing, um, place within their spirit even that allows them to just be at peace. Where it hasn't been that way for some time. Yeah, the world card, okay, that's you. Something is meant to be over here, but I feel like somebody is stuck in the past. Somebody is struggling to let go of something that was simply a lesson, you know? It doesn't have to mean that the relationship is necessarily over, but it's like, what I, the example I wanna give is if you're in a relationship with someone and you make the active choice to stay with them after they have betrayed your trust, then the goal is to learn from that situation, evolve in that situation, not pretend like it never happened because that's just merely impossible, but move forward in some way. That means I'm not bringing it up every three seconds or I'm not constantly acting out of that place. That means when I have those thoughts and feelings, I address them and I speak them out totally, completely and clearly with my significant other instead of holding on to them and acting out of that place. 